Hello and welcome to today's video about subtraction of positive and negative numbers. First, let's review how to use counters to solve addition problems. We are going to start with five positive counters. Then we are going to add five negative counters to the five positive counters. Now here's the question. What is the balance when you add positive 5 plus negative 5? Here's the number model that represents this situation. In order to solve this problem using the counters, I am going to cross off as many negative symbols as I can and likewise cross off as many positive symbols as I can so that I've crossed off the same number of each. You can see that this leaves me with no symbols left. So positive 5 plus negative 5 equals 0. Now let's look at one more problem. I am going to start with 11 negative counters. To those 11 negative counters, I am going to add 4 positive counters. My number model will look like this. Next, I am going to cross out as many positive and negative counters as I can from both ends of this picture. Then I am left with these counters at the end. As you can see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So my answer is negative 7. Finally, let's talk about subtracting positive and negative numbers. Let's look at 8 minus negative 4. Whenever you have a situation where a negative number is being subtracted from a positive number, the fact that there are two minus signs right next to each other does something special. Essentially, these two minus signs come together to make an addition symbol. Your problem would be rewritten to look like this. 8 plus 4 equals. We know from our basic addition facts that 8 plus 4 equals 12. So this means that 8 minus negative 4 also equals 12. This is how you subtract a negative number from a positive number. Next, let's talk about how to subtract a number from a negative number using the problem negative 7 minus 3. When you are subtracting a number from a negative number, these numbers end up acting like they're part of an addition problem. The addition problem would look like this negative 7 plus negative 3 equals. We know from yesterday's video when we were talking about adding positive and negative numbers that when you are adding two negative numbers, all you have to do is add the two numbers that you're given, 7 and 3 in this case. Then you add the symbol that's in front of both of them to the front of your answer and you have the answer. Negative 7 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 10. So, negative 7 minus 3 is also equal to negative 10. This is how you subtract a number from another negative number. Here's another example similar to the first one that we looked at. What is positive 5 minus negative 6? Like we talked about previously, we know that two negative numbers next to each other, like they are in this problem, come together to create an addition symbol. Our problem really looks like this. 5 plus 6. Using our basic math fact knowledge, we know that 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Because of this, we also know that 5 minus negative 6 is also equal to 11. Now let's talk about one final problem, negative 6 minus negative 2. 
You already know that when two negative signs, a minus sign and a negative attached to a number, appear right next to each other like they do in this problem, we put them together to create an addition symbol. Our new problem will look like this. Negative 6 plus 2. As we saw in yesterday's video about adding positive and negative numbers, when you have two numbers such as negative 6 and positive 2 that you're working with, the first step is to look only at the base numbers. In this case, the base numbers are 6 and 2. And we are going to start out by subtracting 2 from 6, which leaves us with positive 4. Then we have to write the sign with the larger number part in front of the answer. In this case, negative 6 is the larger number part, so we're going to write a negative symbol in front of 4. So, negative 6 plus 2 equals negative 4. Likewise, negative 6 minus negative 2 also equals negative 4. Here is your practice problem for the day. Solve these problems. First, look at negative 6 minus negative 9. Second, solve negative 6 minus 9. Good luck!